Hi everyone. Are you ready for some fill in the blank questions from the caucus race? Let's see. Let's see how prepared you are. When Alice fell down the rabbit hole, she found a dash key on a dash table. Can you fill in these blanks? Check your answers. When Alice fell down the rabbit hole, she found a golden key on a three-legged table. What does three-legged mean? It means that the table had three legs. The next one. Alice found a bottle labelled... Labelled what? The answer. Alice found a bottle labelled Drink Me. Do you remember the story? The third one. Alice took a sip from the bottle because it did not say the answer. Alice took a sip from the bottle because it did not say poison. All right. Because poison wasn't written on the bottle, she decided it would be safe to drink from it. The next one. Alice found a lovely dash under the three-legged table. What did she find? The answer, Alice found a lovely cake under the three-legged table. What if you had found cake? Would you eat it? The fifth one, the cake had the words dash marked on it with dash. What's the answer here? These are the answers. The cake had the words eat me marked on it with black currants. Black currants, do you know what that is? They look like grapes. You get this delicious black currant ice cream. If you haven't tried it, you must. It's really nice. The next one. Alice began to cry and shed gallons of... This is easy. And the answer should be tears. Alice began to cry and shed gallons of tears. And then what happened? Strange animals like a dash began to collect around Alice in the pool. What pool? The pool of tears. She cried so much there was a pool of tears. So what's the answer? It is... Mouse, lizard, dodo, canary, and lorry. Strange animals like a mouse, lizard, dodo, canary, and lorry began to collect around Alice in the pool. The eighth one. The animals were dash, dash, and dash. What are the three words you would use here? The answers. The animals were wet, cross, and uncomfortable. You know what wet means. Cross means angry and uncomfortable, not comfortable. It's pronounced as comfortable, not comfortable. The number of syllables is important. It's not comfortable. It's comfortable. Comfortable. Okay, the ninth one. Dodo suggested that they run a dash to get dry. The answer, caucus race. You may have answered race, which is not entirely incorrect, but it is better to say caucus race because that is what is mentioned in the story. Okay? And do learn the spelling, C-A-U-C-U-S. The next one. A caucus is a group of... Easy? The answer is... People. The eleventh one. Their three missing companions were the dash, dash, and dash. Who was missing? It's all in the story. So if you read the text well, over and over again, you will know all the answers. So their three missing companions were the March Hare, the Hatter, and the Cheshire Cat. 
Not Cheshire, but Cheshire. The 12th one. Dash won the caucus race. Who won it? Everyone won the caucus race. It was a very strange race, don't you think? The 13th one. Alice gave everyone Dash from her pocket as prizes. What prizes did everyone get? Everyone won. So, everyone deserved a prize. What prize did they get? The answer? Candies. Alice gave everyone candies from her pocket as prizes. The 14th one, Dodo gives Alice a dash as a prize. So, everyone got candies. What did Alice get? Alice also needed to get a prize because she also won the race. So, what prize did she get? Dodo gave her a prize. Of course, he took the prize from Alice and gave it back to her. But what was it? It was a thimble. And do you know what a thimble is? I don't know if many people use them these days. But in the old days, when someone had to stitch something, they always used a thimble. They would place it on their finger just to prevent themselves from getting poked with the needle. That is what a thimble is. Okay, a kind of a protection for the finger. So Dodo gave Alice a thimble as a prize. The 15th one, the last one. The story was written by Dash. And this is an important question because many of us, we go through the entire text, we read the entire story, we think we know it all very well, but we forget to read about the author, which is also very important. There is always a little given about the author. So you must read that. The name of the author, a little about her or him. That's important. It's an important part of literature. So what's your answer here? It was Lewis Carroll. Okay. With that, I've come to the end of this lesson. And I hope you found all these questions useful. I hope you did well in them. If you did, that's very good. If you did not do as well as you expected to do, then I think what you should do is read the text again. A couple of times until you're familiar with it. And then you can come back to this lesson and do these answers once again. Until we meet again. Bye.